Kiafa location by 3 p.m. There will be special online banquets for all those watching online who gave their lives to Christ on, on Sunday, 5th of November, 2023. More details about this will be sent to you. A pastor will be, will be delighted to have you join this special banquet. God bless you. Counselors, if you finish, try to indicate. You can wave to us. Whatsoever you are given to wave, so that we know it's time for losing him and let him go. Those of us at the middle here, have you finished? Middle here, you wave your hand. God bless you. Okay. Okay, at my right hand side, I can see your white, this thing. What about the left hand side? Left hand. I can't see anything from the left hand side. If you finish that side, if there are still more people there, cancel us. Let's few of us join them there. Remember what we said, remain where you are to witness the miracles that will take place today, to bring the people out for testimony, to give little aid to them, to aid their faith. Someone who is deaf, you can speak into the ear. Then the person now will hear. And then you shout and bring out the person. The blind person, you can put your hand around the eye. Try to display something before the person. The person will see. Then you bring them out. My left hand side, are you ready? Okay, God bless you. I see the brother there waving hand. It's time for miracle. Get up. Wherever you are, get up. The power of God is going to touch you now as our pastor comes now. Praise the Lord. Lucy, him and let him go. You are loose tonight in Jesus' name. Whatever the challenge, you can raise up your hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge. And when you hear the name, the mention of the name of Jesus, you know it is finished. Blind eyes will open wide and see. Deaf ears will be opened. Dumb tongues will be loosed. And everything that needs to be taken away from your life, from cancer to ulcer, whatever, the name of Jesus has set you free. So raise up one hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we know you cannot fail. You will not fail. Lord Jesus who assured us, you said, Verily, I say unto you, whatever we lose on earth is loosed in heaven. And Lord, in line with your word, in line with your commandment, I now set your people free in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sickness in your body come out in Jesus' name. That oppression in your life come out in Jesus' name. Insanity, madness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. 
all the demon possession and torment I command get out in Jesus name cancer come out in Jesus name incurable disease be healed in Jesus name also you are healed in Jesus name respiratory problem difficulty in breathing you are released in Jesus name every swelling in your body I command come out in Jesus name and Lord I pray everything that had bound anyone anyone here anyone online until this time liberation in every life freedom in every life healing in every life deliverance in every life in Jesus name you are loosed you are set free you are healed you you in particular you are healed in Jesus name that wheelchair is no more for you the crutches are no more for you and the pain no more for you and the running blood no more for you and everything the devil has put upon your life I command they are gone in Jesus name thank you Lord thank you Lord it is done it is done it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord has set you free. You are loosed. You are loose. You are free. Yes, check yourself now, wherever you are. Check yourself. If you are a wheelchair, get up. Stand up. You might not have feel anything. You might have feel something. It's not the feeling. Just get up there. You are free. Get up there. You are free. Check yourself. You discover your sickness is gone. The disease is gone. You are loosed already. Don't go yet. Wait. You will hear something tonight. Just wait where you are there. The buses are ready for you. Just wait. Don't go anywhere. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Then start coming out. Start coming out. Start coming out. Yes. You can see there already. They have started clapping already. Yes. It's taking place there. Yes. It's happening. It's happening. Bring them out. Bring them out. It's happening. Jubilation. Start coming out. Yes. The wave is moving all around. Yes, it's taking place there. It's taking place there. Those who we are trying to go home, don't go home. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see the power of God. Come. Come out. Come out. Come out. Start bringing them out. You yourself start coming out. Start coming out. It's not only people coming out from wheelchair alone. That is testimony. There are sicknesses, external sicknesses that kill. Easier than that. You come out. Check yourself now. God has taken it away. God has taken it away. As you check, start coming out. Come to my left hand side here. Yes, they have started coming out. You come and join them. Come and join them. Don't only listen to others. Heaven wants to hear your testimony. Start coming out. Start coming out. Check yourself. If you were sitting down, stand up. You discover the problem is gone. Start coming out. Start coming out. It's taking place everywhere. Start coming out. Bring them out. Counselors, bring them out. 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 We just start rejoicing now as the orchestra will give us the first music now. As you are rejoicing, 
you discover the work is done. You start coming out, start coming, start coming out, start coming out. You can see them trooping out. Start coming out. Start coming out. Start coming out. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Clap your hands for Jesus. It's happening. It's happening. Start coming out. rejoicing because of you. Start coming out. God has saved you from occultism. You were really a troubler in where you are. But tonight God has saved you. Come out and give your testimony. Come out and confess what God has done for you. That is big testimony. Come out and join them. We are waiting for you. We are waiting for you. Get ready to hear and get ready to turn. Hearing and seeing, you will hear. Yes, come out wherever you are. Join the people there. Please, region overseers, the counselors who are there, please quickly do the interview and bring out the people. Social media where you are ready, let's know. Okay, now we we'll listen now via social media. Let's see what God has done for people through the wave that goes through the air. Hallelujah to Jesus. Glory to Jesus that the power of God is working and it's really, really working. We're receiving testimonies online of the great things the Lord is doing. Let's bring you some of the testimonies we're receiving now. From the YouTube page, we have Wade who said, I just received my healing from severe chest pain. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Headache before now. I am healed. Headache gone and all other sicknesses in my body. Thank you, Jesus. From the Facebook page, Ganiyu wrote, Praise the Lord. The Lord is my soul and I from terrible infections. So we were admitted at the hospital, but I went with one of GCK and B to the hospital. To the glory of God, we were healed powerfully. Praise the Lord. And from the YouTube page, Patrick wrote, I was having scabies for years, but now I am healed. Praise the Lord. Eloise Shedrach Madu from Bajul, Gambia, wrote, I am healed from low brain memory. Glory to Jesus. And back to the DSAM YouTube page, we have Ajibade David, who is praising God for receiving his healing from severe pains and infection between his two legs. 
He said after the pray, after the prayer of the man of God, he received his healing. Praise the Lord. Anastasia from the YouTube page as well wrote, I have rashes in my armpit for weeks now. They were itchy and painful, but God remembered me in the this day and healed me. Praise the Lord. Ezekiah also from the YouTube page says, I thank God for healing me from pyre that has lasted for some years now. Praise the Lord. Deborah wrote, I was having leg pain for two months now, but before the end of the prayer, the pain disappeared. And also, she was having difficulty in breathing. And by the power of, the, by the power of God, she was healed. Praise the Lord. Rose Savior from Benin City, Nigeria wrote, I'm totally free from the bondage of satanic power. Glory be to God. I'm back to the DLCM YouTube page. We have Ruth Oladeji. Said, she said, my son got healed from a painful and swelling on his lap after the prayer of the man of God. Praise the Lord. Adesola wrote, thank you, Jesus. Waste pain for one and a half years is gone, and child's pain for one year is gone. Praise the Lord. Joyce from the YouTube page also says, I'm Joy from Lagos. I want to thank God for I have been having hotness of the head since November 2022 and all that discomfort. But tonight, as a man of God was praying, I laid my hand on my head and I received my healing. Praise the Lord. Jomoke from DCLM YouTube page wrote, I am healed this night from hypertension and heart disease. Praise the Lord. Babatune Thompson from Dallas, United States of America wrote, For now, glory be to God for the deliverance. From the DLCM YouTube page, we have Dr. Alpha Joshua. He said, the Lord have done it for me. Eight years also have gone. Praise the Lord. Bernard wrote, on the first day of Bini GCK on the 26th October 2023, Pastor Kumi measured my case and I was healed of a nail. I thank God Almighty for this miraculous healing. Thank you, Jesus. Blessing from the YouTube page also wrote, I am healed from schizophrenia. Praise God. Another testimony for DLCM YouTube page. Ajoke wrote, Hallelujah. Stomach upset and abdominal pain vanished tonight. Praise the Lord. Annie Victor Chidubem wrote from Enugu, Nigeria. I'm thanking God for saving me. I was having stomach ache since two years. But after the final amen, I got my instantaneous healing. Praise the Lord. We return back to our moderating overseer. I was in a state of dilemma. Panorama here, over the YouTube, Facebook, and all others. You can hear the shouting everywhere here as they are trooping out. Remain where you are, you will hear today. You will hear today. I saw somebody, they carried the wheelchair, the person, followed them here. Many others, there were a lot of shouting here and there. Tonight, the Lord has done great things in our midst. Please, the doctor, please line them up. And let's start from here now. Let's quickly come now. Be fast, please. <laughs> to testimony from Alpha location now. 
Praise the Lord. Dr. Samuel Oshashono, a medical doctor. Mr. Joshua Ofo is here. God has put testimonies in his mouth here at Alpha location. I present him now to tell his testimonies. Please. Praise the Lord. I am Joshua Ofo, a member of Deeper Life Bible Church. I'm so happy to be among the living today. I have testimony to give. It's one testimony, but with two branches. It happened in 2022 December. I was coming from Lokoja to Benin to attend the GCK and the December retreat alongside my family here in Benin. But the devil said he wanted to end my life that day. But God said no. It happened, surprising things happened when I started a journey. Everybody was calling me. My family members, my friends, my colleagues. How is your journey? How you started your journey? How, what is, why is everybody calling me? First time I'm traveling, almost everybody is calling me. What is happening? But I continue the journey and I have faith in God. I said I am going to, for, to Benin. Not just for shopping or any other thing. But for also to attend the December retreat and GCK. And I know the God of GCK is with me. So I continue on the journey. Just before Awuchi, the vehicle I took was involved in a terrible accident. A very terrible accident. That two people in the vehicle lost their life. Almost everybody in the vehicle was unconscious. But only me in that vehicle remained conscious. With that shock, I was still looking, how can I come out? How can I come out? And suddenly, the second branch of the testimony, God brought me out. Because the vehicle was bringing out a lot of smoke. Smoke. People, were, people came around, they were pouring water, a lot of smoke. But God brought me out. With my bag, I was sitting close to the window, to the door. With my bag, the broken part of the window God brought me and my bag from that place, and I saw myself outside. It was a great testimony. I never can explain how I was able to come outside. But the God of GCK that was with me brought me out. Praise the Lord. After this program on Tuesday, the God of GCK will still be with you. Travel with you. Let's listen to the next testimony. Praise the Lord. Mr. Osaitel is the next person to give testimony. Please listen to him. So I give your testimony. Praise the Lord, church. My name is Osaitel Saboye. My name is Osaitel Saboye. I am into cinema photographer. Those are my colleagues. So my friends among the among of them, Modi, hey, Yorobo. You know me quite all right. And we travel from state to state covering. So last year, last year March, I have this incident. I just wake up slowly. My, my, the bone here shift from the waist. So ever since I've been feeling pains, it is drugs, pain release, not working. Try native uh, medicine, all of that. The NASA should go to UBTH. And went there, they said it would be 2.5 million for surgery. Then I also went to Indian doctor as a This uh, Indian doctor before you be teach. So for the surgery, so I should be two, mi two million. With of some other expenses, close to 3.5 million. So I left home, tell my people. They said, okay, they should raise the money. My mother here. She's a neighbor to me. They, I take her as my mother. I have no parents. She has been helping me for prayer ever since then. And a uh, pastor. What is the name of the pastor? Pastor, what's it? 
Pastor Emma's one was assisting me for prayer both day and night. Ever since then, prayer was going on. So, now I said, this is key. I need to come. I said, no problem. I'll be yes, it's yesterday. Today, I now get my healing. I want to use this opportunity to thank Pastor Kumuji. He has done so well for me. I received the anointing. Church, help me to praise the Lord. It was not that easy for me. The pain was too much. More than a year. I feel so much pain. But God has done it for me today. Praise the Lord. Today, I now got my healing. Today, you have got your healing. He is free. Doctor, do you have any explanation to that? Yes, sir. Uh, he had a dislocation. He had a dislocation of one of the hip joints for about a year now. And uh, he was asked to bring two million naira by an orthopedic surgeon uh, to correct the dislocation. He could not afford that, so he kept trusting God and today, he, yesterday, he came to attend the GCK. And today again, he came. He was believing God. Before this time, he could not walk without the crutches. But tonight, he received his miracle after the prayer of the man of God. He could stand on the leg where there has been a dislocation uh, for the past one year. And he could stand on the leg and he could walk now. A miracle must have happened for a dislocated an individual to be able to walk on a dislocated joint. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands for Jesus. Who has done it? Jesus. He has done your own also. Just get up. You discover he's there already. The next testimony. Mr. Sonny Isaac. Isaac has also received his miracle, and here he is to tell his testimony. Please, Mr. Sonny. Praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. By, God, by God's grace, my name is Sunny Isaac, and I want to thank God for his faithfulness over my life. Last year, I had Osa. Uh, that's around November, I had Osa. The thing was so severe. That if I don't eat in the morning, if I sit down on the chair, I'll be feeling restless. I'll be myself. But so the glory of God, around um, August this year, that was um, GCK at Oshogbo. So a lady shared a testimony how God hid her of the Osa. So I now I say, God, why am I not receiving my miracle? And that night, I went to bed. I dreamt. I saw the GS. And he spoke to me, and he said, I'm healed. That morning, I said, let me assure this thing. I fasted from morning till evening, and God did it. No pain. I said, if I can't sit down here without, that, without me taking anything or eating anything. But today, here am I. If I don't eat, I don't feel any challenge. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Anybody? Witness testifier. You leave your seat there and join them. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The next person to give his testimony is Mr. Godwin and Yang. Please, Mr. Godwin, give your testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm here to give my testimony. Really, I'm a man of God. I'm a man of God. Since I'm, I've, I've advised from God's side. Now, God, God, God wants to tell me that I, 
God wants to show me that he, he's really like me. So when I intended to marry, he was, he was asking me not to marry the girl. I insisted. When I was going on the way, I went and fell down. See, I get up and went, to the, went and sent the money to the girl to come. When the girl come, now God showed me that the girl was possessed. Tell us what God has done for you tonight. Uh, okay. Go straight to what God did for you tonight, please. Okay. The miracle I visit this night is I have a, a, a leg problem. But immediately the man of God asks, and I get well. So I, I thank him so much for that. Praise the Lord. You Praise are free. the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. According to the history he gave before, he's been having rheumatic pain, a disease of either the bone or the joint. And as a result of the rheumatism, he's not been able to walk normally for about two years now. And, to the, and he's been having severe pain. Of course, rheumatism is often associated with severe pain. But this night, after the prayer of the man of God, he felt an instantaneous relief in the particular tie where he's been having the pain. And he was able to get up and walk in a manner that is better than how he has ever been able to walk since the problem started two years ago. Praise the Lord. Before we continue, let's remind us of Youth Impact Academy tomorrow here. The Unstoppable Champions. It's for all teenagers, campus students, core members, young adults. We all expect it to be here tomorrow morning 0 C00 GMT, 7 a.m. Nigerian time. God bless you. The next testimony. Okay, let's listen to the orchestra. Let's listen, let's go over to online before we resume again here. Online. Ep that people expect coming to them also online. From the DLBC Facebook page, we have Ruth Idachaba who is praising the Lord, she said since on Sunday she has been down with malaria and typhoid. Yesterday before the program, as she was lying down inside her room with no strength, she told the Lord to touch her and straighten her. And suddenly she slept off and had a dream where our daddy, W.F. Kumi, came to her and shook his hand and said, God bless you. All of a sudden, she was strengthened. Praise the Lord. Striking testimony all over the globe. From this DLM YouTube page, Esther Adjayu wrote, Thank you, Jesus. I had my healing yesterday from leg pain. Praise the Lord. Also from the DCLM YouTube page, Miracle wrote, I just got healed from ulcer after the prayers of the man of God. Praise the Lord. 
Also from the YouTube page, Good News Road, I have received my healing from my knee pain. Praise the Lord. And Akitayo Pawale wrote, I was diagnosed of chronic insomnia some months ago. It was terrible. Some days to the crusade, I saw Pastor Kumui in my dream. He saw my agony and was consoling me not to worry. I was then able to attend two days of the crusade. And there, I got my miracle. Insomnia is gone and I can now sleep. Hallelujah, she wrote. From the DLCM YouTube page, we have Elon Grace. She said, praise the Lord. I was suffering from knee pain for over two years now. I, recommend, I was recommended for surgery, but today, God has done it for me. Praise God. Blessing Sylvester Rhodes. Thank you, Jesus. I was having leg pains, arthritis since many years after the GCK program last month in Zambia. I got my healing. Praise the Lord. Johnson from the DCLM Facebook page wrote, After yesterday's crusade, after the last amen, Almighty God healed me from hell. Praise the Lord. Gloria Zika from YouTube is thanking God on behalf of his brother who was healed completely from demon tormenting him. Praise the Lord. James Fanen Adogo from Oka Anambra State, Nigeria wrote, Thank you, man of God. Thank you, mighty Jesus. I am healed from backbone pain, head and neck pain that has been there for four years now. I am healed. From our DLCM Facebook page, we have Patricia Asukwo, who is praising God for receiving healing from respiratory diseases. Praise the Lord. Godwin, Godwin Queen wrote, I'm healed from pneumonia heart disease from the hospital isolation room. Praise the Lord. We return now to the moderating overseer. Orchestra, why they can't? Orchestra, let's worship the Lord. Continue your worship while they are interviewing the people.
Let's resume our testimony at the Alpha location. The next testifier, please. Praise the Lord. It's the turn of Mrs. Juliet George to give her testimony. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. And all the time, so for a couple of days now, I'll be having severe headache, general weakness of the body, my eyes were dimming anytime I'm walking, and the two of my legs and heads were shocking. 
So I was diagnosed, diagnosed this. The doctor gave me this result that I, I should go for treatment on Saturday. Meanwhile, the program is coming up on Thursday. I clip to the Gumuyi's topic, which says, lose him and let him go. I believe that if I come to crusade grad, I will receive my healing. So the glory of God immediately I set my feet on this crusade grad yesterday. The shocking of the hairs and the legs disappeared. Praise the Lord. Not only that, when the man of God was praying, he mentioned my case. Because the doctor told me that the hunger that is regulating sugar in my body is becoming weak. The Adikumuye said that if there is any weak hunger in your body or dead hunger in your body, receive life immediately. And immediately, I cleave to the miracle and I receive my healing. Throughout today, there is no weakness of the body, no dizziness, no severe pain. Praise the Lord. You will see them no more. No more weakness. All the organs in your body, they are functioning properly now. The next testifier. Mrs. Sylvester Unity wants to share her testimony. Please share Praise testimony. the Lord. Hallelujah. Children of God, praise Master Jesus. My name is Sylvester Unity. I'm from Ibilo region. By the grace of God, I'm saved and a member of the church. So I want to testify to the glory of God for what he has done for my family and uh, my region. Since several of, my, of our sisters that, that were here together, who are supposed to be under my care as their leader. So last night, after closing, after closing, it was already getting late, and we had no other way to go than to follow a public transport, of which I got one. I had to leave before them. So I had to leave before them. They were checking down. If they see from the way, they would just get and come to the campground. Only for them, as they were coming already midnight, and they saw a Camry that was going, I had to stop, uh, stop and ask them where they were going. They said the campground, and... And they said, uh, are they sure? They said, yes. But when the children, when they come close and saw their faces, they were very afraid. One of them started running. Started running, and others have to run, as their instinct told them. And this man ran after When they ran to the back, the man ran after them. And they ran to the front. And during this uh, incident, and the Lord had to send a boss that come through that boss, they were able to sneak and get a hideout. And after that, they, when, they, when they came back again to look for them, they didn't know where exactly they went. In fact, uh, they went after the, the soldiers' uh, uh, this ch uh, checkout. When they, when they stopped again to check, they didn't see them. In fact, when they saw them, the children, he said, these people are ritualists, and they have to run. It was God who delivered them. Since several of, my, of our sisters from the same region, the Lord delivered them from the hand of ritualists last night. We give God all the glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You may not understand this testimony. This is more than a crippled person getting up. It means all of them will be used for rituals. But God saved their lives. Because of the God we serve, the enemy cannot touch you. Let's listen to the next one. Praise the Lord. Miss Jewel has a testimony, but her mother will share the testimony for her, and I'm sure she too will be able to talk. Please, uh, go ahead Praise with the testimony. Praise Master Jesus. Our Lord is good. God is so wonderful, and my heart is full of joy. He has done so many things for us. He has done so many things for the church, and we say, may his name alone be praised in Jesus' name. Yesterday, as we got here, we got here very healthy. All of a sudden, this morning, she started complaining her eyes are paining her. Her eyes are paining her. She, that she, in the night of that yesterday night, she felt pepperish uh, smell. And none of us, we slept together. None of us uh, felt this man. All of a sudden, the eyes started burning her. She couldn't come out to the sun. 
I, when I was seated here after the prayer, she came to meet me that the eyes were not burning her again. I asked, I tried to confirm, and I saw that it wasn't burning her, plus many things that God has done. Those I cannot say, but I know he has done. I say, may his name alone be praised forever in Jesus' name. Let us stay there and give our testimony. Hallelujah. Let her not decline it. Praise right. the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to share my testimony. Yesterday night when I was sleeping, I was smelling pepperish smell. So as I closed my eyes, the thing was rounding my, my eyes here. Yeah. Then I now woke up. The thing was not paining me. If I want to come out of the sun, it will be paining me anyhow. They are not saying that I will not come to the prayer again. I will be staying at home inside the room till the sun comes down. Before you know, I came when the sun came down. The thing, after the prayer of Pastor Kumori, the thing has left. The thing has left. Your own has left. The next testifier. God. Praise the Lord. Praise this, this, the Lord. This night, God has done great things for Mrs. Victoria Ogieva, for which she is rejoicing. And now, she wants to share the testimony. Ma, please, share your testimony. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our Lord is good. All the time. It's happened four years ago. I wake up, and off he raised leg, and off he raised hand. I did grand like that. Now we are dead for grand for good eight months. Now there they do the big one, and there they do the small one. Well, the Obani Kisha say, Oh, but as I saw, not be every cloth that they put for song. No, now help me thank God. Last year retreat, now this miracle start in my life. When I go to the retreat, that was my first retreat. In deeper life. When I get there, the spirit was telling me, get up. Get up. And I stood up. I walk. When I get home, the wahala started again. And I know today is the end of that wahala in Jesus' name. I wish you all to help me to say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank Jesus. You, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. As I stand, so I know the feast now before. Oh, take. Who am I giving it to? You don't stand, you go walk. Amen. You don't de walk, you go run. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This we stop here today. The orchestra now just lead us as we now thank God Randolph. The meeting now. For worship God. What can we offer to you but thanksgiving, giving testimonies of what you've done for us, you have done great and many things. The ones we have seen are less than the one we have not seen. Lord, receive the glory, Lord, in Jesus' name. 
Thank you, Lord, because we know your touch upon every one of us is permanent. As we go home now, Lord, bless everyone. Protect everyone. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Remember, tomorrow, bring more people. God bless you all. Good night. Bringing the gospel to every creature. Mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers. Jesus the Savior, there is no another. Salvation from yonder since chains break us under. Yeah. Salvation is free, the meeting faith. All of your shame you will roll away. Salvation is free, the needs in pain. The you might have feel there is grace today. Hey, hey, oh, oh, oh. There is healing, deliverance, freedom from boats of Satan. Oh, yeah. This case, yes, you bring your case. Come on, everybody, take your place. Come and experience for me saving grace. No matter your color, no matter your race. Mama, Papa, they come. Woke wine in the ya. Mutu mata so oh. Baba, ya ewa. Salvation is free, you don't need to pay. All of the shame you will run away. Oh, 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 yeah. There is healing, deliverance, freedom from hopes of Satan. The gospel to every creature. GCK Gospel to That time of the month again. It's GCK o'clock. In Mark chapter 16, verse 16, Jesus said, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. We're bringing the gospel to every creature. 
mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers. Jesus the Savior, there is no another. Salvation from yonder sisters break us under. Salvation is free, you don't need to pay. All of your sins you will roll away. Salvation is free, you don't need to pay. Though you might have feel there is grace to pay. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, oh. There is healing, deliverance, freedom from both of Satan. Oh, yeah. Just in case, yes, so bring your case. Come on, everybody, take your place. Come and experience for me saving grace. No matter your color, no matter your race. Mama, papa, they come. Okay, why in the ya? Mutu mata so oh, baba ya ewa. Salvation is free, you don't need to pay. All oh, the shame you will run away. Oh, 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 yeah. There is healing, deliverance, freedom from hopes of Satan. The gospel to every creature. GCK Gospel to every creature. Jesus said, Take me away the stone. You have to do your part. That's the human part. an exciting lineup of events and activities. First up, we have the highly impactful GCK, Global Crusade with Kumoyi program. You can tell me you've not heard about it. The Impact Academy, this academy equips youth with the tools and knowledge to make a positive change in their lives and make a lasting impact for Christ in their communities. For our esteemed ministers, we have the upcoming Ministers and Professional Conference. This conference is a unique platform where ministers and professionals from different backgrounds and denominations come together to glean wisdom, share experiences, and receive fresh insights for their pastoral and leadership roles. Tune in to GCK Daily for daily devotionals and insightful messages from Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi. Experience the power of transformation through our impact sessions designed to empower youth for a life of purpose and influence. Don't forget to check out TKC, The King Circle, a vibrant and interactive online community where you can connect with fellow believers, join engaging discussions, and access valuable resources to strengthen your faith journey. 
Stay tuned to GCK TV and GCK Radio for uplifting sermons, worship sessions, and inspiring testimonies. For those with their art for global missions, we are thrilled to announce our Global Missions Immersion Program, GMIP. This program offers a life-changing opportunity to experience firsthand the transformative power of missions. As we reach out to those in need and spread the love of Christ to the nations. Lastly, for our young stars, we present stars standing tall as a star. This program is designed to empower our children and youth to shine brightly for Jesus, nurturing their gifts, talents, and character to impact their generation positively. For more information about this event and to stay connected with us, please visit our website at www.dclm.org. You can also follow us on social media for regular updates and inspiring content. says you can go out free. There will be people that will catch his ministry as he's preaching after he has gone. And the people will begin to do wonders. People will begin to do great things. That whether you see him, whether he touches you, whether he doesn't touch you, that people will catch something. As he is here for six good days, the power of heaven will come down and solve a new state problem. Solve Benin city problem. Open your mouth and pray in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray. We are going to ask the Lord that every sickness that is here today will be healed. Every sinner that is here today will be saved. Let's pray on those two prayer points. Open your mouth and talk to God in prayer. Every sickness of every kind. In Jesus' name, we pray. We're going to ask the Lord that the word goes forth to all over the world. Whatever I do in Alpha location, it will do anywhere else. Any part of the world, mighty, mighty miracles, mighty, mighty healing, mighty, mighty deliverances. We're going to be hearing from Ireland. We're going to be hearing from any part of the world that testimony galore. We're going to see this evening. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every part in this place, apart from the Alpha location, all the other people connected outside here, outside Nigeria, outside Africa, that the power of God will touch them, change them, turn them around, that God will produce revival in all those places. That after the program, pastor will begin to hear that there's a revival in Ireland. There's a revival in social place. There's a revival in social country. There's a revival in such and such a place. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Can I hear a louder amen? Elijah, before he left, transferred his power. We're going to pray. A man does not have power on his own to transfer, but God transfers people's power to others. We're going to ask the Lord Almighty that pastor will not just come here. His power will be transferred to everybody that desires the power. Anywhere in the world, that anointing will be transferred, the power to pray, the power for the world, the power for sanctification, the power for holiness. All over the world, let it be transferred. Let's pray in Jesus' name. Are you praying? Are you talking to God in prayer? In Jesus' name, we pray. Can I hear a louder amen? Let's pray together. Father, we thank you. We are here today. We are here for an encounter, unforgettable encounter. And we are here to hear you. We are here for the word. We are here for the spirit of transformation. We are here for the healing, for the deliverances. Whatever it is that have tied anybody, the theme is lose him and let him go. Nobody will be bound after the program in Jesus' name. Today, all over the world, wonderful things will take place. Revival will spring up. Power will come upon people. Deliverance will come upon people. Healings will come upon people. Signs and wonders will come upon people. Thank you, Father, because you have answered. More than ever before, use your servant from a do state of a location here to all over the world to bless lives in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, because you have done it. In Jesus' name, we pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If God will bless you tonight, say, I say, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today is day two of this wonderful program. The Lord has packaged some things for you to go home with tonight. And if you are expecting or you are about to receive yours today, and you are sure that God will not pass you by tonight, I will hear your loudest amen. amen.
Sweetest name I know is only the same. Praise his holy name. That is the reason why I love him so. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Do you know that name? Is the name you know? 
Savior on earth. Oh, what a tender compassion it brings. He met the need of my heart. Child of his spelling, with God I am telling. He made all the darkness flee. Glory, glory 
Jesus. Glory, glory be to Jesus, for Jesus Christ is King. The final say. I want to hear your hands now. I want to hear your hands. Who has the final say over your life? Oh, the overturned my life. Let me hear you clapping and singing. God, my life. Time. 